Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where the makeup and sass keeps you coming back for more. I actually just came up with that last night with my friend to kind of uh, get you guys more interested in my channel so you guys can click that subscribe button and see more of the content that I plan on creating for you guys in general. So today we're going to be doing um, a kind of cool twist on a very popular video trend going on right now um, on YouTube and I'm going to be doing an anti-haul video. However, I'm going to be doing it with a little bit of a twist um, that I decided to put on it. I haven't really seen anyone do this yet. Uh, I've watched a lot of these videos and I thoroughly enjoy these anti-haul videos that um, were popularized by a YouTuber called Kimberly Clark. Um, so I suggest you go check out her stuff and anyone else's stuff that you see that you might be interested in. But to, for today's anti-haul, I'm gonna be doing an anti-haul on products that I'm not buying because I, it's not that I have like a problem with them, it's that girl, I'm broke and I cannot afford them. And so, cause sometimes I feel like on YouTube, people think that just cause you do YouTube, you buy a lot of makeup, which most of us probably do, or you can afford to buy like every single thing that comes out all the time. And that's just not true. Like I'm a college student and I'm broke. Like I'm working for the summer, but when school starts, I'm gonna be broke again. So I can't like spend every single dime that I make. Um, on buying whatever random new product that comes out. So I'm gonna go tell you guys 10 products that I've done my research on and I think would be worth my money once I do have it. And so I am saving up to buy some of these products and I'll probably get them gradually, but I just won't, I just can't get them at the moment right here, right now. So let's just dive right into this. And I am going to include um, little pictures of these items somewhere in this video. So number one, on the list is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Now guys, this palette is gorgeous and I've heard really great things about Natasha Denona eyeshadows or anything from her. However, this palette is $130. I, I will not be spending $130 on an eyeshadow palette that has colors that honestly I own in another palette of some sort. Maybe not the exact same colors in one palette, but I have those colors somewhere somehow. I just really want the palette because it's right up my alley. The colors are gorgeous and I just have heard so many great things about the eyeshadow so I, I really want to try them. And it's such a nice brand and so yeah I just like it's one of those things that I just really want to splurge on however I can't so I won't be splurging on it for a while so the next item on my list is the Kylie Cosmetics Coco collection um, whole thing I know that they recently came out with the KKW collection and a lot of people weren't a fan of it. I wasn't a fan of it. That made me really sad because I do really like Kim and I was super excited to see what she was going to come out with um, Kylie. However, they just were not, they weren't black girl friendly. So I wasn't about to spend my good money on that um, product no matter how much I love Kim. The Coca collection, however, is really, really nice. And the color selection for the liquid lips and the glosses, or one gloss rather, is really, really great. They actually come out today because today's May 31st. Um, and they haven't really said how much they're gonna be, which makes me think they're probably gonna be a little bit pricey. I feel like the liquid lips with the one gloss, there are four of them, it'll probably be around $40, $45, cause that's what it's been in the past. And maybe the pressed shadow palette would be 35 to 40. So combined, maybe they're 90 or $100, don't know. But needless to say, I won't be getting it anytime soon. I know they're saying it's limited edition, but we all know how limited edition works nowadays. And they're gonna come back with it again. And I hope that they just come back with the liquid lipsticks in um, something in, um, in individuals. Because I, want, I don't wanna buy all four. I only want like three of them. So yeah, number three is another Kylie Cosmetics pro uh, product. I really like, um, I know people don't, I've seen that people not, people do not like, wow, I can't talk today. People don't like the velvet um, formula for her velvet liquid lips. However, I really wanna try them. And I really like the three new colors that she came out with for the summer. They're grape, 
poison berry and strawberry cream. I would only get grape and poison berry. I'm not into strawberry cream. However, if I don't get my hands on those, you know, I won't die. Number four is the Tarte Unicorn Brush Collection. You get four brushes in this collection for $39. And while I'm not a fan of anything else of that Unicorn Collection, I do really want those brushes only because they're cute and colorful and Tarte brushes are really, really great. Like I had, I bought their uh, holiday collection and I use it every single day. I absolutely love them. And for me, when it comes to brushes, I would rather splurge on like a few good brushes than buy a lot of like terrible brushes or something from, I don't know, like another company. So um, yeah, like, and I also like, if you are looking for good brushes, e.l.f. makes really cheap good brushes. So a lot of my brushes are from e.l.f. and stuff, but I do like the Tarte ones. And so I would really want to get this one. It is only $39. And I think I am going to try to get this one before they stop selling it in stores. I've seen it in Macy's. And I don't know if Sephora is still selling it. Um, next is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Palette. Now you all know if you've seen any of my other videos, I absolutely love anything Anastasia comes out with. I think that all of her products are really, really great. Well, all the ones that I've tried. Obviously, I haven't tried every single thing from her line. And you can hate them or love them. But for me, they've always kind of worked out. So I really, really love her cosmetics company. And I love how she tries to create things for people of all skin tones and stuff so I'm here to support her in whatever she does and I love these blush palettes I like blush so I would like getting a blush palette and I haven't gotten any new blushes in a while so I wouldn't mind splurging on this they are $30 each which is reasonably priced for the brand that you're buying them from but again I just can't afford that right now when I could go out drinking for the same price at happy hour that's the way I relate things right now because it's summertime and I'm trying to enjoy myself Next is anything from Jouer Cosmetics. I have seen that they have really, really great products, really great lip toppers and lip creams and highlighters. However, their stuff is just kind of pricey in my opinion. Like one highlighter I think is about $29 or $30, which is not as expensive as some other companies, but I don't know, right now that's just not gonna happen. So Jouer is just gonna have to wait for me to come up with those kind of coins to spend on those products. Um, next we have Colored Rain Anything, honestly. They have some really, really great products. Their liquid lip colors are amazing, and I am gonna make an effort to get a couple this summer. And their Queen of Hearts palette is coming back, I think, permanently in October, which is my birthday month. So hopefully I can get someone to buy me that Queen of Hearts palette because the colors in there are gorgeous and they are right up my alley. Like these colors are amazing and everybody just loves this palette so i really really want it next we have the marc jacobs matte highliners i really want a few of these colors only because i got a sample of one of them in like one of my boxes or something i don't know i got i got it from somewhere and it is so creamy so pigmented that i'm like yeah this is totally worth it um this one pencil like eye pencil is worth like 25 dollars but the product is just so great that i wouldn't mind spending that much money on it if i had it <laughs> and my last two products are definitely um they're gonna be skincare products so the first one is the sunday riley lactic acid good gene serum now y'all I have heard great things about this product, um, especially from like Jackie Ina. I love her and she's had like we have similar skin issues. So I try to, you know, I like to see what she thinks of um, skincare products and she loves this thing and thinks it works really well for her. So obviously I really want to try it. However, this product costs a hundred and five dollars for one ounce. And I know it's Sunday Riley. And I know that they're a good brand, but damn, your girl just does not have that many coins to just drop on like a face serum right here, right now. That's just gonna have to be like a Christmas gift or a birthday gift or something. Maybe if I get a bay anytime soon, I can convince him to like buy me this, but it's just not worth it right now. Like I just, um, that's just not gonna happen. And the last item on my list is the Peter Thomas Roth water hyaluronic like moisturizer thing um i'll there's gonna be a picture right there and 
I got a sample of it in my Sephora play box, I think in March or April. And I tried it and it is actually really, really great. Because first I was like a water moisturizer. Like, I don't understand how this is going to work. But I kid you not, it just, just soaks into your face and it's so good. And I really, really want to buy the full priced item. However, the full priced item is $50. $52 for like one jar and like I said that's just not gonna work for my budget right now because my budget includes food and drinking and having fun with my friends for the summer which is how everything works for me for right for the summer right now so like I said that's just not gonna happen for any of these products anytime soon maybe I'll pick them up slowly but yeah so yeah that was my version of an anti haul it's not to say that necessarily i won't be buying these i just can't get them right now and so i will be hauling them right now um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and if you have any products that you really want but are too expensive let me know down in the comments below you know we can share our pain of loving makeup and not being able to afford a lot of the things that are coming out especially when these companies just won't quit so like i said thank you for watching this video and don't forget that makeup makes your dreams come true and don't forget to subscribe either thank you